So now let's work with something called the transparency channel. So over here you can see that I have uh, two objects right there, two capsules basically. And what I'm going to do is, let me just increase the size of the disk that I have over here so that it covers more area. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn these capsule, capsules right here uh, transparent. So I'm just going to make one of them transparent first. So over here you can see that that's this capsule. So I'm just going to uh, double click over here and there's a material. So let me just drag the material onto the capsule right here. So I don't want it on both the capsules. So let me just delete the material out of that one. So I'm going to go over here onto the material and over here you can see that nothing is transparent right now. If I were to press Control R, we can see that nothing is transparent. So uh, it gives it a glass-like feel if I make it transparent. So I'm going to go on to the basic right here and over here you can see that there's an option called transparency. Let me just click on it and once I do that you can see that transparency actually happens and you can see that how it'll look like right over here. So if I were to press Control R right here, you can see that the material is transparent and I can actually see through this material uh, just like that as you, as you can see right there. Right, so Control R, there you go, that's the render and you can see that the object is transparent and I can see through the material just like that. So let me just go around at the side, render it out from that reason as well, so that you can see how everything actually works out. So you can see the reflection of this one as well. You can see that the bottom reflection is there. Everything is transparent as you can see right there. Control R, you get a different sort of transparency right there, just like that. So it actually is working like a glass. But if I were to change the transparency settings right here, for example, so let me just pull this up. And over here, you can see that on the transparency channel, there's different options. Right now, refraction is set to you know, 1.5 and it is acting uh, how it is. So I'm just going to say a refraction one and let me render this out and let's see how that works. So everything completely disappears as you can see, which is it does not actually look like a glass. So there's complete transparency right there. But once I do 1.2 something, press control R and you can see that transparency acts totally different. It actually acts like that. It magnifies everything. If I were to do transparency two, that is uh, refraction to press control R and it works like a glass as you can see I can see the object behind this like that so let's try around with a different object so I'm just going to click and delete this one out so I'm just going to uh, delete this object let me bring in other objects so that we can actually see how that looks like so I'm going to bring in a figure over here let me keep it aside press control R and you'll be able to see how that actually uh, works around with transparency right there as you can see it squeezes out everything just like that that's how transparency actually works like works totally like a glass so let me just go over here and to uh, give it more feature over here I'm going to go over on to the um, color right here let's say and not a color but I'm going to go over to reflect reflection and then add in uh, the reflection. So I'm going to add in the Beckman as we did in last lesson. So it gives much more crisper look, a glass-like look to the um, uh, transparent object right here. So if I were to press Control R, you can see that it looks much more like a glass now and the transparency is actually there. You can see that it looks much well uh, as a glass right now. It looks like a glass object and there's the reflection. There you go. So I can also go over here, give it some more options. So you got the refraction right here. And if I can also give it a color tint right here, if I want to, just like this. So I can give it a color tint. But if I were to press Control R, you do not actually there. You actually see it, as you can see. So you see the color tint that is actually being provided here. So let me just make it a bit brighter right here. So bright tint of maybe green right there. And I'm going to press Control R right here. And then you can see that you get the green green tinted uh, glass right here just like this, there you go. So it looks much more like a green tinted glass right here. It's being rendered out, all right, there you go. And it does take some time to render because it has to process everything out, all right. So now uh, I can also, what I can also do is increase the absorption distance. You can actually see the preview here. If I decrease the absorption distance, it becomes much more uh, prominent. So if I were to press Control R right here, uh, you can see that it is, um, absorbing it much more well. So if I were to decrease it to something like 1 cm, right, uh, the thickness of the reflection, as you can see, will be much more softer, as you can see right here, just like that. So these are some settings that you can work around with. Let me just bring that back to 100 itself, not just like that. 
these are the absorption colors and the blurriness increases the level of blurriness uh, that the reflection has so you could see that the transparency was clearer but if i were to increase the blurriness right here if i were to press ctrl r you can see that the glass becomes much more blurry. it does take some time to render that out so i'm just going to uh, forward this a bit and here you can see that it is rendering out and it is much more frostier than before because it is distorting all of the lights that actually be, uh, is being traveled. So this is how you can uh, work around with the transparency settings inside of Cinema 4D and create glass-like objects quite easily with just a few clicks. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.